It's reported that cowboys found the two calves two days ago while range riding in the Kettle River Range area. State House Representative Joel Kretz, who also owns a horse ranch in that area, reported the incident on his Facebook page. He said the calves were brought back down the hill to a holding area, and that's where the cowboys sheltered them overnight. Now, Kretz said the state was notified immediately, but agents failed to respond until the next day. Kretz claims that after first confirming the incident as a wolf attack, the officers changed it to a, quote, probable attack because of what they called lack of hemorrhaging. Kretz claims that if they had responded when called, they could have witnessed external hemorrhaging as the calf bled. He says to examine internal hemorrhaging, they would have had to have skinned a living calf. Kretz claims the wolves responsible for the attack are members of the Profanity Peak Pack. That's the pack of one of several gray wolf packs that are protected as endangered species by Washington State. Steve Hare, NCW Life News.